And for more on how the markets are reacting to the latest economic impacts of COVID-19, including the historic U.S. economic stimulus bill making it through another hurdle, let's bring in business in Vancouver's Haley Wooden. Haley, how are things looking at opening this morning? Exchanges are in the green, which must be some nice relief for investors. And of course, that's on the news that the White House and U.S. lawmakers have reached a historic agreement on a nearly two trillion U.S. dollar spending bill, which will have a significant impact on the American economy and really on economies around the world during this difficult time. The Dow up this morning at one point more than 700 points, trading a little bit below that, but all U.S. exchanges in the green this morning. We'll see how that continues today. This follows a fairly significant day in the markets yesterday where the Dow closed up more than 11 percent, S&P 500 up more than 9 percent. So we'll see if they can match those gains, which were fairly significant. And I'm sure, like I said, brought a lot of relief for investors who have been seeing a lot of red on the exchanges as of late. It's the kind of encouraging news those investors haven't seen in many days. But uh, some discouraging news on the furniture store industry front. There are more layoffs there. That's right. Leon's Furniture announcing that at a number of its stores laying off around 3,900 workers across Canada. That comes as it's announcing it's closing 72 of its 205 corporate stores. It's Leon's Furniture, but it also owns the stores under the Brick Banner and some other related companies as well. Now, it has said that it will try and financially support employees during this time. Unclear how much it will be paying employees, but that will be in addition to any employment insurance benefits they're entitled to. They will also be extending company paid benefits to employees who now find themselves out of work. And another unfortunate story, but another example, of course, of how these economic impacts as a result of COVID-19 impacting not just small businesses, but really businesses of all sizes. Absolutely. All right. Business in Vancouver's Haley Wood, and thank you for that. Thanks, me too.